Hi everyone, this is Nurse Ryan, and today we're going to go over some practice questions for altered hormonal and metabolic regulation as an introduction to pathophysiology. In this quiz, we'll review some of the major gland complications. I'll walk you through the answers and rationales for each question. Starting off with question number one. The onset of type 2 diabetes is approximately blank. And for each question, I'll leave a bit of a break where you can pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer here is B, after the age of 40. The age of onset of type 1 diabetes is less than 40, often diagnosed much early in life, while type 2 diabetes has an onset of greater than 40. Type 2 diabetes is usually caused by modifiable risk factors, such as diet, exercise, lifestyle, and more. Question number 2. Which of the following disease processes results in decreased production of glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and androgens? And this one is A, Addison disease. Addison disease is an autoimmune disease that causes the destruction of the adrenal cortex, which is responsible for the production of glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, and androgen hormones. Question number three, which of the following disease processes is most likely to cause goiters? And this one is A, Graves disease. Graves disease is a common form of hyperthyroidism, which causes an enlarged thyroid, which may cause the neck to look swollen, which is also known as a goiter. Question number four, cold intolerance is most often associated with The answer here is D, hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism causes a decrease in thyroid hormone production, which decreases the body's basal metabolic rate, which may cause cold intolerance. Question number five, three cardinal signs of diabetes are? The answer is D, polyuria, polydipsia, and polyphagia. Polyuria, which is increased urination, is caused by elevated blood glucose levels as an attempt to excrete excess glucose in the urine. Polydipsia, which is an increased thirst, often follows polyuria. And polyphagia, which is increased appetite or hunger, is caused by the inability to transfer glucose from the blood into the tissues due to the lack of insulin. This increases appetite because the body wants to consume more glucose as an attempt to convert glucose to energy. Question number six, thyrotropin releasing hormone directly stimulates the release of thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland. And the answer here is B, false. Thyrotropin releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary, not the thyroid gland, to secrete thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone then stimulates the thyroid gland to release thyroid hormone. Hopefully that one isn't too confusing, but moving on to question number seven, aging, iodine deficiency, and radiation to the neck or head are all factors that may increase the risk of developing. The answer here is B, hypothyroidism. Iodine is a substance that must be consumed in our diets to promote a healthy thyroid. To prevent iodine deficiencies, iodine is most often placed in the salt that we consume. Iodine deficiency may lead to hypothyroidism. The thyroid is located at the bottom front of the neck, which may be damaged by radiation. And for the last question of this quiz, number eight, diabetic ketoacidosis occurs when... The answer is A, the body begins breaking down fats for energy. Ketones are produced when the body begins breaking down fats instead of glucose for energy. Ketones increase the acidity of the blood, leading to ketoacidosis. And that's it for the Altered Hormonal and Metabolic Regulation Quiz. If this video has helped you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or would like me to review a specific drug or topic, Please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.